boy JR and y'all boys know I'm back with another banger and in this video I have the NBA 2K21 Tennessee's glitch that I'm gonna show y'all boys how to do with this glitch it's gonna get make y'all's players extremely OP especially if you take advantage of it before I get in the video make sure boys drop a like drop a sub turn on post notifications and let's see if we can this video to 100 likes also before I show y'all boys how to do this glitch make sure you guys do this at your own discretion i repeat make sure you do that your own discretion i don't want to see any of you guys get banned and i don't want to see any of you guys lose your players so yeah man i just want to throw that disclaimer out i don't want to be responsible for anyone losing their players or getting banned so keep that in mind but yeah man thank you boys so much for all the support and i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video I want to give another huge shout out to home, to the homie Charles the Goat. I'm currently using his video footage for this Tennessee's glitch. So yeah, man, this is his content that he gave me, gave me permission to use. So his link will be in the description down below. Make sure y'all boys go check out the homie Charles the Goat. Okay, so look, man, to start this glitch off, I'm gonna try to explain it the best that I can. Now you have two different options. Option one, you guys can do this glitch on a player that you currently have. Or two, you guys can go ahead and make a new player and do this tendency glitch on a brand new player. You guys can do it either way. But this glitch is gonna revolve around you guys having to delete your mob player and then you're gonna have to hit up 2K support. And I'll explain what I mean in one moment. So yeah, man, whenever you're doing this glitch, do it at your own discretion. But if, you never, if you've never accidentally deleted your player and hit up 2K support, they have the ability to bring your player back. So yeah, man, so in this video, um, he decided to go ahead and do this on a brand new 60 overall player. Now for this Tennessee's glitch to work, you are gonna have to, if you decide to do it on a brand new player, you are gonna have to invest some VC in that player. You guys wanna make that player at least a 70 overall for this tendency glitch to actually work. So if you do it on a brand new player, make sure you um, make sure you make that player at least a 70 overall. And this is probably gonna be, you know, your safer, better, better bet, especially if you don't wanna do this, you know, on your main player, but this is gonna work either way. Now, if you guys make the player that you're doing the glitch on, um, the team doesn't matter, the agent doesn't really matter or anything like that. But like I said, you just wanna make sure that this player is going to be a 70 overall and then you can make and do this on any archetype that you want this glitch is going to allow you to get max tendos on any depending on what build you want the tendos on if that makes sense so yeah man if you guys make your player and then you guys want to go ahead and delete that player and then you guys want to go over to the 2k support website and then you guys want to go ahead and submit a request for a ticket now you guys can do this two ways you guys can submit a ticket like you're seeing right here or you guys can hit up the actual um, chat they have a 2k support chat that you can use as well I feel like the chat would be a lot faster and they are and they and they are available 24 7 but you guys can do it either way now whenever you're doing this make sure you guys fill out everything that is highlighted with a star and then when it asks you know the description on how your player got deleted just say my player deleted my build your grandma deleted your build or whatever just make something know that sounds kind of believable just so they know and then just fill out this the issue that you're having to say you know your your micro file accidentally got deleted and then it'll ask you know what edition are you on it'll ask for your playstation or xbox gamer tag you guys don't have to put in the console id because that's not required and then there's some other things that you don't have to fill out as well just make sure like i said you fill out everything that has a star beside it and then you guys don't have to worry about getting the console id or serial number and then also you guys want to put in your 2k uh, in-game registration email as well this is what you use whenever you first downloaded 2k the email that it asked for make sure you guys put in that exact email or they'll come back and say you know this isn't the right email associated with your account so yeah man and then when asked for inter internet service provider you don't have to do that and then just make sure you guys put in the right email and then you guys like i said you guys can do this through a ticket the ticket might be a little bit slower um, the 2k support chat is a lot faster so you guys can literally do it 
either way but this is done like i said through the 2k support website and then to actually get the chat there's a widget on this screen right here on the bottom right hand side that you can click on and like i said it'll take you to the chat and they'll ask for your email and all that stuff and your issue but like i said before you guys do this before you submit your ticket and hit the chat make sure you guys delete the player that you want to do this tendo glitch that is very important now after you guys have either filled out a ticket or hit up 2k support what they're going to do is they're going to come back and they're going to ask you to send over proof of your player being deleted so you guys can use the ps4 or xbox capture settings like where you can record a screenshot or whatever or you guys can record your screen with your phone either way it works but the reason they're asking for this is they just want proof that your player is deleted and like i said if you guys have never accidentally deleted your player and hit 2k support they have the ability to give your player back this actually happened to me back in 2k19 i accidentally deleted all my players and i have 2k support and they were able to give me back all of my players so yeah man like i said if you guys do hit up 2k support or fill out a ticket they're going to ask you for proof that your player is deleted so you're going to go into my team and just show your gamer tag associated with uh, your 2k account so you have to record yourself going into like the my team screen and then you just have to make sure you put in the, your gamer tag and then after you guys do that in the video that you send them go back in and then just show them all the players that you have and this is just to show them proof that your player was deleted now as you guys have sent this they're going to ask you to ask you to make a new build which is going to be a placeholder build this placeholder build that you're going to make is just their way of giving of like bringing your build back so you make a placeholder build and this is where you get your tendos from so whatever tendos you want that's going to be the build that you make now to get the most out of this glitch you're probably going to want to make a pure archetype and in my opinion defensive tendos is the best so you guys might want to make a pure red pot chart the like the position doesn't matter you can go point guard or if you're a point guard you can go center or whatever the case may be just make whatever tendos that you want you can also go half and half so if you make like a half slasher have defense you can do that as well but to get the most out of this tendo glitch i would make some kind of pure archetype so um i would go i'd go with pure red in my opinion tendo pure defensive tendos is the best in my opinion that's gonna help you get more steals better shot contest all of that so yeah man you guys want to go ahead and make your place holder build of the tendos that you want and after that 2k will go in and give you back your build that you deleted and whenever they do this your placeholder build will also have the 99 tendos as well and that's how this glitch works let me know if you guys have any questions make sure y'all do this at your own discretion discretion don't like double sub i'm out peace